Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. My name is Pete Gulick, and I work. Uh, I own Blue Yonder Maritime Assessments. I'm a surveyor here in Fort Lauderdale, and I have had a longtime friend of mine, Andy Keenan, here, who has uh, designed a absolutely remarkable fuel management system, uh, formerly known as Filter Boss, which many of you may have heard of. Um, now it is Keenan Filters, and uh, it is a it is a really highly advanced and very smartly designed fuel management system. It's more than just a filter. And I think the best way to kind of go through it is to, to kind of have you take us take us through this a little bit. Wow. Good. Yeah. What we've learned cruising is that uh, your fuel, fuel filter is uh, the only tool you have on the boat to change, to work with. Most boats only uh, allow the operator to add fuel or change filters. But fuel maintenance is very important. So I, I learned years ago that you need uh, more more than just a filter. Uh, we needed a pump. We need to know when a problem is happening. So we need uh, we need warning. Uh, we need the tools when you have a problem to take care of the issue, such as uh, uh, air leaks, water, clog filters. So we designed this system years ago, like Pete said. Uh, the filter boss has evolved to this, and uh, uh, and uh, we, our range is from zero to sixty. Up to 1,500 gallons per hour. 1,500 gallons. Yeah. Wow. Right That's there. amazing. So I was, you've always said to me, when we kind of had conversations about this, that you, coming from an aircraft background, which you had, like when do you know that you got a fuel problem? You have a fuel problem when your boat quits on you. That's right. Shortly after you left the dock, right. which is it's always always seems to be when this ugly monster arrives. Um, so, you know, this looks a lot like a Raycor system. It takes regular Raycor filters or? Right. Wow. So we're not in the paper business, we're in the uh, system business. So we designed the system to use Raycor paper, which is available worldwide. Uh, but our systems uh, integrate their, their paper into our manifolds. And in here, we are giving the uh, we can give the opportunity or the, the availability for remote warning in operation, uh, which is very important because as you're cruising, these things don't happen often. But when they do, they get you, and, they, and you don't know what happened while the engine shut down. We give you a warning why. So, Andy, take me through just a let's do a little scenario. So, I've got this in my engine compartment, right. and we've installed it. You obviously you helped me on the phone and told me all the stuff I need to do, right, yeah. help me get all that together. But I'm leaving the dock, and all of a sudden, you know, I don't know it yet, but I've got a fuel problem. Right. So, how is the system going to tell me that I've got a fuel issue that's going to warn me before I have it? Correct. Sure. Well. Over here, uh, we have, just to show you what the normal warning panel looks like, this is a normal warning pad, panel, the panel. So the panel has, um, when your filter starts to clog, a check filter light. It also has a check water light, and it has an, uh, an audible uh, uh, alarm that you're going to hear that says, uh, do something soon, or you're going to lose your engine. So in this situation, uh, you leave the dock, you get the alarm, the motor's still running, you're going to flip the switch up, and we'll, we'll do that on the bigger one, but okay. you're going to flip the switch up, and what that's going to do, it's going to drive the actuator, uh, this actuator right here. This is not a live unit, and we can do this. So, uh, so you're monitoring vacuum pressure we, all the time? That's there for the, the owner as he does his engine checks to see if the vacuum is increasing. Okay. And that's important because it's increasing, it says your filter starts clogging. So when the, when my filter is clogging and it increases, all of a sudden at what point it's going to alarm? It's about six or seven inches of vacuum. Six, six or seven inches of vacuum. Right. So at that point, okay. I get an audible alarm? Yep, you're going to get an alarm in the cockpit that says, hey, check filter. Okay. So at that point, you, you know all my filter's starting to clog. So you'll flip the switch. This actuator will start to turn. It'll take filter one offline and put a clean filter online. And automatically, without me having to go to the engine room. Right, it's remotely, yes. yes. That's fantastic. Right. And at that point, what you'll do is once the filter switch, you'll take the lid off, you pull out the Raycor filter, you put the new one in, and you want to top this off with fuel. So we integrate an internal priming system that uses fuel pressure from the online filter and allows you to port it over and fill up the filter from within, these little fill valves right here. 
So I no longer need any kind of uh, residual diesel in the engine compartment no. to top off this when I swap out a filter. That's it's right. going to be able to fill it up. That's fantastic. Right, and then you can fill it up to the top and you'll put the lid back on. Now you prime the filter and you can go ahead and put it back online. Literally a minute. Um, That's amazing. The other issue we run across a lot is these filter bowls, you'll see water and crud building up at the bottom. And, and how do you get rid of it? Well, you open the valve, crack the top, and nothing really happens. But what we can do is we can pressurize the bowl and we can blow it out at the bottom. So it makes it much easier to get rid of the stuff. Wow. So you're not accumulating it. So I see you've got the, um, you know, your, your, your fire ditches and whatnot. These are all certified? These are, yes. These have uh, ABS PDA, uh, and they also are, are they conform to U.S. Coast Guard and ABYC standards. Okay. And the, so now here, let me run through the scenario. So I just took on some fuel, right. and I'm questioning whether or not if that fuel is any good or not. So I want to test the system before I leave the dock. Is there a way for me to do that? There is. Uh, what I would do when you're taking on fuel is put this in polishing mode. Ah. So you're, when you're pumping fuel into the tank, you have heavy water, um, heavy contaminants. They'll go to the bottom. So, so this is a fuel polishing system too. Right. This allows you to do polishing in the tank and allows you to go ahead and do your preventative maintenance. Preventative maintenance is cleaning. Just making sure you get the junk out of your, your fuel while you're, so you're not having problems while you're cruising. So it's a very simple procedure. You turn the pump on, you open up the polishing valve, and, and now we're taking fuel from the tank through the filter and back to the tank. So, so essentially, if I was taking on bad fuel, the vacuum would increase, and 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 I would be, get an alarm. So well, it would. It'll take a little bit, probably. But what you'll see is you're, when you're when you're done fueling, you can look at your bowl and you'll see what you put into your tank. So if it looks like Coca Cola. You can tell the guy, fine, uh, I'm going to stay on the dock and I'm going to polish for a while. I'm going to clean this up. And that allows you to clean it up. If it's water, you get a lot of water, you get the alarm while you're filling the boat. Uh, and, and that way, at least you can go ahead now and you switch to the other filter, blow it out, switch back and forth until you get rid of all the water, and you're happy. So I assume that this application could also be a good diagnostic tool when you're checking when you're checking your engine uh, fuel system. Well, yeah, that's it. And that's a good, good question because um, uh, it's, it's called integrity. It's, uh, Air leaks and air leaks shut down engines just like water does and clog filters. So we give you a way to run this, run the engine, shut down the fuel system. It simulates a filter being clogged, and uh, now you can watch this needle and see if the needle stays where you shut it down at. And what that's looking for is an air leak. If you have an air leak, the needle drives back down. Now you know maybe you left the valve open or the lid's not on right. At least you're able to test your system uh, all the way from the tank to the engine for integrity. So we have the control panel up at the helm, and then you've got the pump here. I can activate all the pumps from here as well as, you know, it's it's either or. This, like I can turn on the fuel pump. This system here, you turn on the fuel pump right here. Okay. Uh, our, our new uh, remote system, you can turn the fuel pump on from the... Uh, from the bridge area. Okay. You can polish transfer from the bridge without having to move any valves. Okay. So. And now um, I, I sell a lot of, I mean, not sell, but I, I survey a lot of catamarans. Um, I, I survey a lot of catamarans. And we've got, you know, two tanks, a generator. Um, you had mentioned that you were thinking about doing like a catamaran specific package. Yeah. What, what are you offering with that? Well, with the catamarans, the, the manufacturers normally have an engine and fuel tank each each hole. Uh, that's it. So if you lose that engine, uh, you can't get to that fuel on that side of the, the, the boat. So what we designed is uh, several systems, three systems that um, allow you as a boat operator to transfer fuel back and forth, polish the fuel, run either engine from either in, either tank. Um, this gives you options when you're in the middle of the ocean trying to get back home, get that, that fuel off the other side. So so, so I own a, uh, say, say I'm a client, um, a potential client for you, and I say, hey, Andy, I own a, um, a, a, a Leopard 42 or, or a Lagoon 46. Sure. Um, Boat power cat or sail. Um, what are you recommending size wise, and how are you thinking the installation works? Because there isn't, there's a lot of room in those engine compartments, but there isn't. So how how do you see it all coming together? Well, 
the, the come in board mounted. Uh, is well, this, oh, this is the unit over this here? Is, this is half of it. This is part of it. Okay. This is a cap package. This is our middle of, middle of the line package. We sell it depending on the person's budget. Um, and a single filter, a dual filter like you see here. Then we sell the remote system. And that's that, that uses electric valves instead of manual valves. And gotcha. allows you to do everything from the bridge. So you're really you're offering a way to work with the buyer depending on what they want to spend. That's right. So how I know that these are you know a more advanced fuel power, fuel management system than you find with the others. How do we compare in costs? Are we you know percentage wise with the added benefit or? Well, it's, it's all about having the tools. And so how much are the tools worth to you to maintain your fuel system? A, fil a, a standard fuel system only allows you to change the filter. And as you're finding out, you need more than just changing the filter. You need to take care of what's in the tank. You need to know what's what's happening with your fuel lines, if they're, if they're leaking. And also servicing and changing the filter. As you saw, it takes a minute to change the filter and you don't have to touch the fuel. So that's that's nice to, nice to know that you can take care of this problem quickly. And it also gives you the diagnostic tools if things happen to get yourself out of Dodge. I, I believe that, um, I know with having a generator on board and your two engines, specifically in most of the catamaran designs, your generator is only picking up fuel from either your port or starboard engine. Right, right. Um, having uh, the ability to be able to transfer the fuel, polish it and such, I would think if you were doing a cat, uh, you probably the ideal system would be two dual units and a single for the generator? It is. I mean, a lot of these catamarans, depending on how they're made, some of the catamarans, to get to the engine room, you can go through the, 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 the cabin and, and into the, the aft stateroom. But uh, most of them are, you have to go through the back of the uh, the hull where there's a hatch. Yeah, on the scoops. On the yeah. scoops. And you have to climb down in there. Well, in big seas, it's not a nice spot to be. No, certainly it would be nice to be able to know that you can get onto a clean online or standby filter right. and ensure that while you're getting back in there, the engine compartment, you're not going to lose propulsion. That's right. Well, it, it allows you. I mean, two filters allow you to have one online, one off, one ready. Uh, single filter allows you the same protection, but you have to shut the engine down to change filters. Yeah, and I assume if you had enough filters, you could triage this fuel yeah. problem for as long as you have filters and, and still be able to keep underway. That's right. Uh, and work through the problem. That's right. Yeah. That's all we want to do is not not having the ability, or not having the engine shut down, uh, keeping the vessel operating and pointing into the, the direction keep, that you want to keep go. Keep the motor online. Keep the family happy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Let me, uh, since we're right here, this one is... Uh, this unit is pretty impressive, Andy. What? This, we're not putting this in a catamaran. What, well, what are we? Uh, big boats. What are we doing with this? These are, these are designed for like MTUs, big big boats. It's a, it uses the Parker. Um, it uses the Parker uh, FBO filter, and which is a great filter. That filter allows you to go, you actually do uh, coalescing and removing up to five microns of water out of the fuel. All fuel has water in it. It's either free or, or, or uh, either free or it's it's uh, uh, I don't know the word most uh, and I don't have a good word for that. But, no, yeah, I got you. Uh, where you're going. But it's um it's it's emulsified into the into the, the water is emulsified into the water uh, into the fuel and uh, so that starts to build up and that can be a problem. And with the new engines today, with the higher pressure. Uh, common rail systems, a little bit of water will blow an injector tip off and ruin your day. So, so I, I have to, I've never actually been able to change a filter of this size and it looks like I can change it from the top. Right, this is a pattern we went for. Um, the normal situation is the cruiser's going along, it gets an alarm since your filter's starting to clog. This one here, he'll switch filters. As you'll see the actuator's moving, it doesn't move fast, but the, doesn't have to, it's keeping the engine running. Um, why it moves over and cycles, uh, it's taking the dirty filter offline and the clean filter online. So what we learned is that the way Rayquard does their filters, you gotta drop the bottom canister, and it's a very messy job. It takes quite a while, and you have to prime it. Well, this system here, all you have to do is take it offline, which it is right now. I've disconnected this from the uh, manifold system. You got the start, 
star handle to uh, hang it off. And right now, we can go ahead and pull this off. Wow! Pull out the element. That's a that's fantastic. So, and and your no mess in the engine department. And, and a quick change. Yeah, quick change. Put it back in. This will, this will seat itself. Um, there you go. You use these star handles. That one there might be a little fun to pull up. There you go. So right now we're tightening down the, the lid. Yeah. So they connect it back up. Connect it back up. So at this point, we have air in the system. We want to bleed this filter. Yeah. Get the air out before we put it back online. So we hook up a bottle to this, and we turn on the pump, the uh, fill pump, and at this, we can turn our go ahead and fill up and pressurize this, this filter and blow all the air out. And you'll have a steady stream of fuel. Go ahead and shut it off. Uh, you're ready to go back online. And that's it. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So uh, I've I'm, never I've never seen one where you can. And you said this was a patented design by you for a top load. That's just absolutely fantastic, Andy. It, it works well. I mean, it, it takes literally five minutes to change this filter, and you can do this with the engine running full speed. Uh, you don't have to shut the engine down. The other the other companies. You, you have to shut the motor down because it allows air to get into the other side. Yeah. So uh, it's got a big big canister for collecting water. It has a flow site. There's a site in there that you can look inside and, and see uh, if you have water. And, and once again, same as the other units, all certified. Yes, and this, is, this meets ABYC. It also has a, a ABS PDA. Uh, and a PDA is, a, now you have to ask what a PDA is, is a... Uh, um, design, it's a design assessment. Uh, I forget the name. Well, it doesn't matter. It has a PDA. I, I, I know, <laughs> but, but a PDA by the ABS is, is yeah. huge. Because um, that's, that's met the ABS rules. Well, so. any, I got to tell you, I've always been a big fan uh, of Filter Boss, and I've seen it how it's kind of uh, come, it's, it's, it's evolved through the years. Okay. I think you really put together a a beautiful system. Um, not only is it visually impressive, but it it's mechanically excellent, in my opinion. And uh, I really I, I hope that more people would stop by the show during during this this show this year and really take a look at these and, and consider what it really means to have a Keenan filter system in your boat. Uh, I think it's top notch. Thanks so much for, for spending some time with us. All right, bud. <laughs>